how to use the tent feature in Adobe Photoshop. In this video, you'll learn how to use layer adjustments and image adjustments to tent your photographs. I've already opened the image I would like to use today. First, I'm going to go up to Image and Adjustments. I need to change my image to have a black and white look. So I'm going to use an image adjustment or a layer adjustment to do that. The benefit of changing your image to black and white is that you get to adjust the colors in the picture. The wonderful thing about using this approach to turning your image to grayscale is you can isolate the colors that are in the photograph to be the value that you would like it to be and you have more control over the contrast that happens in the image. So again, either image adjustment or layer adjustment to change your image to grayscale or black and white will work. There are other ways to accomplish this. Next, I'm going to simply add a tent on top of my image. So in the dialog box, there is an option to select tent. From that point, you can select whatever color you would like and it adds like a layer of color on top of your image. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, this kind of orange sepia tone type effect. Then I'm going to try a few other colors. So Photoshop makes it really easy to add a tint to your images uh, to create a very uniform look. And my old school photographers out there, this is very similar to putting a colored filter on the front of your lens. Photoshop has a effect for that too, but they both have a very similar look. So a tent can be added to your entire photograph or just parts of it. Today I'm going to try several different um, tent effects on this bridge image so you can see the differences. You can also add layer adjustments after adding a tent. So if you want to continue to increase the brightness or contrast or the exposure level of your image, you can continue to edit it. You can also um, use the dodge and burn tools or the cropping tools after the fact. But that's the basics of how you convert your image to a grayscale and add a color tint in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.